hello out there now this is one of the ways in which i try to deal with anxiety that's related with covid 19 and other issues learning to play a musical instrument i hope you're having a good day out there today we're going to have a little talk about anxiety anxiety is a very common emotional state that every one of us must have felt at one point in time of our lives or the other think about a big presentation for which you're not really prepared or think about that test or examination that you felt you had not prepared sufficiently for or even a blind date now these are all situations that are associated with anxiety what really is anxiety anxiety is a negative mood state that is related with feelings of apprehension feelings of physical tension or worry about a future event anxiety is closely related to fear the difference is that fear is a current mood state it is the feelings of worry or apprehension associated with an event that's taking place now that means it's an alarm reaction to the perception of threat danger or harm irrespective of if that perception is real or imagined another uh, emotional state that's closely related to uh, anxiety is depression depression and anxiety actually have a cyclical reaction that is to say when you're anxious about a particular thing and the anxiety persists for a while you know you begin to withdraw from participating in activities which you used to enjoy and from there you probably slip into depression and when you're depressed there's certain hormones in your system that will be released that will also cause anxiety so it's a cyclical reaction now having normal levels of anxiety is good for every one of us moderate levels of anxiety because it motivates us to work hard and then to perform better at the anticipated event for instance uh, like a uh, howard Liddell says anxiety is the shadow of intelligence but when we have uh, high levels of anxiety and it persists for a long time to such an extent that it hinders us from living our lives normally you know then we reach a state that we can be diagnosed with a disorder and there are several types of anxiety uh, disorders you know we have generalized anxiety disorder we have a uh, social anxiety disorder we have separation anxiety disorder we have panic attacks we have phobias we have post-traumatic stress disorder and a host of others but that's another discussion discussion for another day now another feeling that's closely related with anxiety is a feeling of lack of control whenever a human being feels like there's some things which he cannot control we begin to feel anxious about it and you would agree with me that the entire COVID-19 situation is associated with a lack of control the feeling of lack of control we are not in control of the situation we don't know when all of this is going to end there's no definite cure for COVID-19 and we hear all this news of thousands of people dying all around the world in the US, in Italy, in the UK from COVID-19. And so, you know, we are worried about it. We are anxious about it. When will this end? When will life return to normal? First of all, human beings are social animals. And now we are being prevented from socializing. So all of this comes with anxiety. For me as a person, I'm worried about my 10 months old baby who is born at this time and every other child out there born in times like this. And I'm thinking, what happens if this persists? You know, a friend sent uh, some pictures to me on Monday when school resumed in France of her daughter and how school was. Now they have to play in the playground with a uh, clear marks, you know, squares and restrictions to where they can stay. And they were not allowed to play with their friends. This is anti-human, anti-human to us. And how are these children going to grow? We're already worried about a world where, you know, human-to-human uh, -human physical interaction was so reduced because of our gadgets. And now this one's, this one's to them, a world where people could greet each other, hug each other, and, you know, kiss each other. is strange to them. So we are worried about all of these things. And that is why it's necessary to discuss anxiety at this point in time. Now let's look more closely to anxiety. What is involved in all of this anxiety? Most we feel anxious or apprehensive about an event. There are hormones that are released in our system that you know activates the fight or flight reaction. Now, this reaction, adrenaline and cortisol, uh, are the hormones that are related with you know this reaction. 
prepares our body to flee, you know, the situation that we are afraid of or to fight back. And immediately these hormones are released as a threat is perceived. Some things begin to happen in our system. Our pupil dilates so that we can see better. Our heart rate increases and also our breath is, our breath is now, you know, shortened and quick so that it, more blood is pumped to our skeletal muscles. A digestion has to stop to conserve energy. And all of this prepares us to face a situation. Now, when the threat passes, what happens is that your parasympathetic nervous system reverses the situation and you are now at a state of homeostasis. But if this state is sustained, the state of a uh, fight or flight, if it is sustained, you know, that means you're constantly feeling anxious. You're constantly worried about, for instance, this COVID-19 anxiety has lasted for two to three months for some people or even more. So when you have sustained anxiety like that, the danger is that you could develop some psychosomatic illnesses like stomach ulcers, like uh, high blood pressure or some cardiovascular diseases and stuff like that. That is why we have to deal with anxiety. So now how do we deal with anxiety in times like this and generally also? First of all, when you are anxious or afraid about something, the right thing to do is to acquire some level of information. So in the face of COVID-19, try to gather some information, enough information to allow you protect yourself from contracting the disease. Now, when you go looking for information, source for information from reliable sources like the Center for Disease and Control or from World Health Organization. This is because there's so much, you know, misleading information that's been put out there for us. So you have to be careful where you want, who you're listening to. Now, when you get sufficient information to help you uh, cope with the situation, don't become addicted. There are some people who follow every single update on COVID-19. You wear yourself out with anxiety because, you know, the whole situation is scary. So don't become that kind of a person. Limit your exposure to excessive information. Now, when that is done, don't focus on things you cannot control. For instance, there are all of these conspiracy theories out there about uh, the world coming to an end. Some people tell you uh, attempts to reduce population and all of this. You have no control over that. Focus on what you can control. What can you control? You can control your habits. For instance, we've been told to stay safe in times like this. Don't go out except it is absolutely necessary to do so. Now, if you go out, maintain physical distance between you and other individuals out there. That is to say, about two meters between you and the next person. If you're going to a crowded place, ensure you wear a mask. And then wash your hands as regularly as you possibly can. And also have your hand sanitizers handy. This you can control. Do this and keep safe. Forget about all of these other conspiracy theories. When we get to the bridge, we'll, we'll cross it if we have to. What else can you do to, you know, help yourself as to reduce levels of anxiety at this time? Maintain healthy relationships. That's why it is called physical distancing, not social distances, because we are social organisms. We need each other to connect with your friends and family via WhatsApp, via uh, Skype or wh whatever medium you want to use have video calls because when you look at faces psychology has shown that it activates some positive uh, Hormone release in your system that makes you feel better this you can do also exercise exercise is good for us in whatever situation because it releases you know a, a, a uh, hormones that help us, you know, feel more positive about ourselves. So endorphins. So let's try and engage in exercises. You may also need to go a step further by learning some relaxation techniques, some yoga or mindfulness, meditation. If you want to, that will help you. Outdoor air is also good for us. When you feel stressed sometimes, just take a walk outside, feel the air and the sunshine, and I think you will feel better. There's still so much more we can do about anxiety. One is to avoid coffee and tea. Why? Because they contain caffeine and caffeine helps to increase our levels of anxiety. Alcohol. Alcohol is also not good for us. Alcohol makes us feel anxious, you know. Alcohol is a depressant of the central nervous system. So reduce or stop the intake of alcohol and that will help you feel better. In these times too, high levels of sugar in our body will make us feel more anxious. So limit sugar intake. These are some of the things we can do to Keep, you know, uh, uh, anxiety levels low at this time. Also, we need to maintain a routine that's similar to what we've known or we've had in the past. So don't just sleep away your day. That will lead you to depression. You know, create some kind of routine. Wake up, 
plan to do some activities and engage in them. And also it's, it's time for those who are still at home and not working to acquire additional skills. Go out there and learn something new. Go out there and learn, develop some talent that you've had and trying to, you know, uh, cope with or you're trying to learn for a, a long time. Let's focus on the positives, you know, and forget about those negative things that we cannot control. And I tell you with all of this, I and you will come through this and out of this successfully and happily. That's all for today. Have an exciting day out there and be positive. See you next week. Bye.